lovelies. A few of you are here waiting already. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm getting a prompt here. Okay, make it go away. Hi, lovelies. Happy Friday. I'm here to do this. Have you seen this? I saw Lizzo do this yesterday and I said, <laughs> I need to know what this plus this tastes like. This and this. Watermelon and French's classic yellow mustard. And this, I believe, was started, of course, on TikTok by Ya 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 Yummy. And they swear that this is a delicious combination. Thanks everybody for joining me today. I'm gonna to be tasting this plus this. Of course, this is a watermelon and this is mustard. And this is a TikTok trend. I saw Lizzo tasting this yesterday on Instagram and I said, it's time to go get a watermelon. So I'm gonna taste it. So let's cut the watermelon first. We're coming into summer and what says Watermelon, I mean, some more than a watermelon. Well, lots of things, but uh, yes. So thanks so much for joining me for this quick impromptu taste test. And here we go. I've got a large cleaver here because I've got a watermelon to slice. Now, first off, I should preface that I'm not a huge fan of watermelon. Having said that, I'm still gonna be open-minded about this and see what this tastes like because I watched a couple of videos. I think Phil DeFranco also tasted this and there is no real good description of what's happening here. So I want to know the flavors. So let's, let's cut this. Okay. Cutting the watermelon in half. This is actually not such a huge watermelon. I don't like buying large watermelons anyways, because they take up so much real estate in your refrigerator, you know? Ooh. <laughs> I had a casualty drop something on the floor there. Uh, this looks very promising. Uh, is this a seedless variety? I see one seed at the top right here, but very nice. And we'll cut it in half again. <clears throat> Okay, so now we've got a quarter, but this is still a very large piece of watermelon. <laughs> Thanks everyone for tuning in. It's great to see you. I don't do these lives too often, so thanks for all of you who decided to join me. Okay. And for those of you that just hopped on, I'm gonna be tasting the watermelon with mustard. <laughs> Trend that's going on. All right. So that looks like a beautiful piece of watermelon. And here's the mustard. <laughs> Give it a good shake because there's nothing worse when it comes to condiments when you do the squirt and you get mostly vinegar. Not fun, right? So we can avoid that by shaking the mustard first. Okay. And then, and I'm also, I should say, not exactly a huge fan of mustard either. Uh, although I do like it with certain things. I feel like it's really important on a hot dog and with roast beef, love it. But just as a condiment itself, I'm just kind of like, hmm. But we're gonna try it anyways. So here is the <laughs> watermelon. I do, what I do like about French's mustard in particular is that it has a tiny nozzle and that you can make little squiggles with it. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm recovering from <coughs> a cold. Okay, <laughs> ready? So we're gonna do this little squiggle here. Can you see? Squiggle there. There and there. So we have coverage on the front and on the top. Raphael, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And for all my super chats and stickers, thanks so much. If I don't mention your name, it's not because I don't care. Goma and Nori's Moon, thank you so much. But it's oftentimes because I'm distracted during eating 
whatever I'm eating. So thanks so much to all my super chatters and super stickers already. So that's, I think, a generous good amount of mustard, good ratio, and it looks beautiful, doesn't it, against the red? Alrighty, let's see what this tastes like. Eat the lucky moms. That's a good watermelon. Ah! For me, <clears throat> well, let's do another bite. Oh, whoa. Ugh. All right, you did it, girl. So now you have to eat it. That's, that's a lot of mustard. All right, try it again. Huh. So the mustard flavor is super strong. And if you've never had mustard before, it's vinegary, it's tangy, and it has that distinctive flavor of mustard, yellow mustard. That for sure comes first. Thank you, Leslie. It comes first and you taste it, and then you get kind of the sweetness of the watermelon. It's not a bad combination by any means. Is it one that I would seek? No. <laughs> But again, I'm not a huge fan of either mustard or watermelon. Other watermelon on cold, cold watermelon on a hot day is pretty great. When it starts dripping down your arms, it's pretty phenomenal in terms of just being the definition epitome of summer. Thanks, Erin. Uh, but together, it's not, it's not horrible. Mm -mm. I don't find it exactly delicious either. <clears throat> oh, I kind of have an analogy now. It's kind of like a natural succulent honey mustard. That's what it's like, but it's not as sweet as honey. Like, you know how honey mustard's like, honey mustard, honey. And uh, it's not that strong in terms of the level of sweetness because it's a watermelon after all. But I think what it ha does have going for it, it has that great texture of watermelon, that really great succulent <laughs> crunchiness <laughs> that watermelon gives you. I think that is actually quite fun. And then you get mustard. So it's definitely a condiment heavy concoction thing that we're tasting here, uh, but it's not bad. It's not disgusting. It is pretty outrageous because, you know, watermelon is perfectly fine on its own. Who would have thought to put mustard on it? Obviously someone. And if you like these two things very much, then you'll probably really like this. But for me, I think I'll just stick with watermelon, watermelon and mustard on, on sausages. <laughs> But yeah, not, not bad. <clears throat> yeah, so I tweeted earlier today that I was going to try this and if anybody else had some interesting com flavor combinations and someone suggested strawberries with black pepper. So since I have it, let's try it. Strawberries, which are happen to also be in season. Dip, dip, I don't know how much, but that seems, that seems like a reasonable amount, right? All right, here we go. I've actually heard of this combination before. Also strawberries with, thank you, Sarah, with balsamic vinegar, which is kind of a sweet syrupy vinegar. So it makes sense to go with strawberries, but I've never actually had it. So thanks, Patty. Let's give it a taste. Here we go. Eat the lucky mouse. Mm. <clears throat> I like that. I think I like that more than the mustard. I feel like the mustard, <clears throat> I feel like the yellow mustard is such an aggressive flavor that, apothesis divine, thank you so much, um, that the mustard just overpowers the watermelon and the watermelon becomes more of a texture, which is fine, but it's just such a strong flavor to be taking a big bite of. While the black pepper is a little bit more subtle and the fruit is actually more forward. You taste more of the strawberry, which I happen to love. So that probably makes a difference in my opinion too. But you still get that succulent flavor, but you get that nice little pepperiness from black pepper. <clears throat> Not really a heat, but kind of a pep, you know? Thanks, Joshua. Mm-hmm. It just gives it a little bit of a bite. Mm-hmm. 
and really enhances the strawberry flavor. That's fun. I'm using pre-ground black pepper, by the way. If I were to use freshly cracked pepper, I think this would be even more heightened. And I would imagine you probably wouldn't need as much pepper, you know, because then it would overpower the strawberry as well. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly good combination. Oh my gosh. I have one more thing for you, but it just fell on the floor. So just hang on a second. I'll, I'll be right back. This is another snack that reminds me of summer. I didn't have them too often as a kid and they never were wrapped like this. But this was sent to me by Any Kind Snacks. Thanks Carmen from Hawaii. And it is a freeze dried strawberry shortcake bar. Do you know those? You know, you can get them from the ice cream truck. They're made by Good Humor, I believe. But this as you notice, is in a package and not refrigerated or frozen because this is freeze dried. So it's completely dry and shelf stable. Bonkers, right? Okay, let me just show you close up and you can see what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> it's so cute, look at it. So, so cute. So it is just one of those good humor strawberry shortcake bars, but all of the liquid the water has been removed. Thanks, Joyce. It is hard. Here, let me grab a spoon so you can hear it. I'm knocking all the little crumbs off of it, but it's solid. So I tasted these probably about a year ago. I tasted freeze-dried candies for the first time. I tried freeze-dried Skittles. And what I found most interesting was the freeze-drying process really intensifies the flavor of the candy. So I'm curious to see if the same will be true about the Good Humor Strawberry Shortcake Bar. Will the flavor be more intense? And what happens to ice? Well, I do know what happens to ice cream when it gets freeze dried. If you've ever had astronaut ice cream, then you know it turns kind of spongy and of course very hard. So let's give this a go. Alrighty, here we go. Eat the Lucky Malls. <laughs> wow initially it doesn't taste that familiar <clears throat> and then as you crunch it and it melts it tastes exactly like the strawberry shortcake bars but it's not cold look that's the inside that's like the cakey stuff on the inside but it's completely dry it has a great texture Mm-hmm. And so cool. The texture is kind of crumbly. It's a little bit like that seafoam candy. Thanks, Joshua. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's a little bit more crumbly and not as kind of shattery crisp in texture. It's got a little bit more crumb to it. And then it finishes off very kind of dairy and milky and creamy, yet it's not creamy. It's hard and firm and crunchy. <laughs> it's totally wild because it plays with your expectations of what an ice cream bar should be. So this is from Any Kind Snacks and they are based in Honolulu, Hawaii. In case you're interested in trying ice cream bars and candies of the freeze dried manner. Alrighty, my lovelies. Thanks so much for joining me. That was just a really quick, quick taste test of the <laughs> watermelon mustard. My conclusions are that it's it's interesting, but it's not something I would, Apotheosis Divine, thanks so much. It's interesting, but I don't think I would do it again or something I would crave. It's just a slightly sweet watermelon tinged version of French's mustard. A little bit more watery. Of course, you get that succulent big crunch, but an experience. If you've got watermelon around, I'm sure you probably have this around too because probably hot dogs and burgers are probably not too far away. So give it a go. Try it with the kiddos. They would love to experiment with it as well. As well. I think it's my chicken. At any rate, 
Have a great weekend. Thank you all so much for joining me. Big thanks to all my super stickers and super chatters for their contributions. And yeah, y'all take good care and I'll see you in my next video, which is tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time. All right, doodaloo, take care.